The following lessons based on the writings of Lao Tzu might inspire you to live life in an entirely different way. Number 1, Don't Force Anything The master does not force virtue on others, thus she is able to accomplish her task. The ordinary person who uses force, will find that they accomplish nothing. When we force, we go against the natural flow of things, which most likely gets us in trouble. Oftentimes, a fallacy we make is thinking that we can force the unenforceable, believing that when we push hard enough, we'll eventually get where we want to go. When we, somehow, find a way to work with nature, instead of against it, things will get much easier, and we won't exhaust ourselves so much. This means working smart, instead of working hard, by setting our sails correctly and navigating diligently, so that the wind of the universe keeps pushing us forward. Number 2, Don't Overburden Yourself Those who stand on tiptoes do not stand firmly. Those who rush ahead don't get very far. Those who try to outshine others dim their own light. A typical phenomenon that we see in current civilization is that people are willing to push themselves too far. Pushing boundaries isn't wrong in itself, as it's a way to grow. If we look at strength training, for example, it's actually necessary to overstimulate the muscles. By breaking down the muscles during a lifting session using progressive overload, they'll come back stronger and bigger over time. But there's one necessary ingredient when it comes to this process that many beginning lifters tend to overlook, which is rest. Number 3. Stop Controlling the World Do you want to rule the world and control it? I don't think it can ever be done. The world is a sacred vessel and it cannot be controlled. You will only make it worse if you try. It may slip through your fingers and disappear. Good leader doesn't control but operates from the background, she lets people do things themselves and intervenes only sparingly. There's a difference between delegating and controlling, between leading and imposing. Leading and delegating can be done softly and without much interference, letting things go with the flow. Controlling and imposing often go together with force. In many cases, the natural course will make things work out just fine. This basically comes down to trusting the universe, so that we can let go of control. Number 4, Enough is Enough Those who know they have enough are truly wealthy. Our needs come with natural limits. We only need enough food to stay energized during the day, and we only need enough water to stay hydrated. Too much is harmful. Nevertheless, humans often accumulate more than they need. The main reason for this seems to be fear, the fear that not having all this stuff diminishes who they are. It's an ego thing, having more, means I am more. We also fear that we won't have enough in the future. But as we know, 
The future is uncertain. We can die tomorrow, and everything we own can be taken away from us in an instant. Having an excess of external things eventually becomes a burden. The things you own end up owning you. Number 5. Don't cling to life. Those who celebrate life walk safely among the wild animals. When they go into battle, they remain unharmed. When we cling to one thing, we resist another. And what we resist will stick, but what we accept we move beyond. The ability to let go and go with the flow, and to be a flexible operator in a chaotic universe, is what makes us disciples of life. Number 6. Look within and you will find everything you need. Knowing others is intelligence, knowing yourself is true wisdom. Mastering others is strength, mastering yourself is true power. Number 7. By letting go, you become free. By letting it go it all gets done. The world is won by those who let it go. But when you try and try, the world is beyond the winning. To be content is to be happy with what you have, and to be happy with what you have is to be rich. Number 8. Let go of your labels if you truly want to know yourself. He who defines himself can't know who he really is. By not labeling yourself, you can flow freely from experience to experience, emotion to emotion, without being chained down to any one way of thinking. It's so much easier to move on from a mistake when you don't carry it along with you. Number 9. Pay no attention to evil and it will crumble away. Give evil nothing to oppose and it will disappear by itself. Good things help you to grow and empower you. Bad things will destroy you or break you up into pieces and push you to death. The best thing you can do is be stronger than the evil temptations around you, and you will beat them. Number 10. Kindness and compassion for others will always win in the end. Kindness in words creates confidence. Kindness in thinking creates profoundness. Kindness in giving creates love. Number 11. Be yourself without caring what others think. Care about what other people think, and you will always be their prisoner. Number 12. Wisdom and strength come from remaining humble. The wise man is one who, knows, what he does not know. Number 13. Change is inevitable. So embrace it, even if it seems uncomfortable. 
new beginnings are often disguised as painful endings. Number 14. Learn to follow first if you ever wish to lead. If you want to govern the people, you must place yourself below them. If you want to lead the people, you must learn how to follow them. Number 15. Always go with the flow. When nothing is done, nothing is left undone. There are often times for action, but if no action is needed based on the laws of nature, then doing anything may be overdoing it. It's all about realizing when our efforts are being useful and when they are being wasted. Thank you for being with us. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos.